Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 32, Compare and Protect. In this video, I'll show you how to compare different versions of the same document and how to restrict the ability to accept and reject document changes in Word 2010. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be covering some more collaboration tools. So a common problem that can pop up when multiple people are editing or working on the same document is that you end up with two versions of the same document. And when this happens, you have a few options. You can basically compare the documents, or you can combine the documents. So one way that you can compare the documents is to view them side by side in separate windows. To do this, you'll open both documents. So we have both of our documents open. And then you'll just go up to View, View Side by Side, and you'll choose which document you want to compare it to. Click OK. And so you can see that you can compare them side by side and find the differences fairly easily. And another option that you could do is use the compare tool. And this will generate a new copy of your document that will combine the two versions. It's also called legal blacklighting. The main thing to note with this option is that if your original document and your other version of your document have marks in them, all marks will be accepted in the combining process, so when you have your new combined document, all your tracks will be from one single author. So you see in this version of our document, we have edits from Megan Brown and Bob. But when we're using the compare method, our compared document will end up having revisions from just one reviewer. So let me show you how to do this. What you'll do is you'll come up to compare, click compare, pick your original document, which for us will be letter to. You'll come over here and select your revised document. You'll decide who you want your reviewer to be. And we'll just click OK. And you'll notice this window pops up that one or both of the compared documents contain track changes. For the purpose of comparison, Word will consider these changes have been accepted. Continue with the comparison and we'll click Yes. So this is our new document. You'll notice that all of our marks are now from Emily Cope. So I also want to show you how to combine documents. And this is very similar to comparing documents in that it'll generate a new copy of your document that combines the two versions. But with this method, all your, all your revisions will be combined, but you'll still be able to see who those revisions were originally created by. So to do this, we'll go up to compare again. This time we'll select combine. We'll choose our original document. And then we'll choose our revised document. We'll choose who we want our changes associated with and we'll click OK. So this is our new document and you'll notice that you're still able to see the various authors of the changes. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is restrict editing. In the previous lesson you saw how easy it was to accept and reject changes. So if you want to make it so that way all your changes are tracked and only you can accept and reject changes, you can do this by restricting editing. So to do this, you'll go to the review panel, click restrict editing, and you'll see the Restrict Formatting and Editing dialog box will pop up. So to make it so only you can accept and reject changes, you're going to select Allow Only This Type of Editing in this document, and then you'll select Track Changes. Then we'll come down to Start Enforcement and click Yes, Start Enforcing Protection. Then you'll just select a password, and then you'll retype your password, and select OK and now you've turned on Restrict Editing. Thank you for joining Nextara TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 32, Compare and Protect. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextara.